Hi, I'm Tom and this is Adult Game Reviews. I reviewed the completed title Shale Hill Secrets by Lovejoint. I purchased Shale Hill Secrets from Lovejoint's Patreon for 10 bucks. I've been waiting for this one to fully release because I played an earlier version and I wanted to see how it ended. So all in, Shale Hill Secrets has 17 chapters. I wanted to see if anything changed from my previous review. I feel like we need a parade when a VN finally finishes. <laughs> Unlike so many of the forever in development games, I'm not going to name names, but you know who you are. Shame. Shame. This VN is big. I lost track of how long I played, but it has to be pushing 30 hours. But before I get into that, if you haven't seen my video call to action for any spicy game devs, check it out. I want to do a huge two year anniversary compilation video. If you're a game dev and want to be in the compilation video, check the survey link in the description. I love mysteries, mainly because in my experience, they have the most narrow chance of success. If the story isn't believable, people ignore them. If the story isn't engaging, people get bored. If the story isn't crafted in a clever way, it's very easy to see who the villain is. is Shale Hill Secrets more Hercule Poirot with a clever protagonist? Who are you? I am Hercule Poirot. Or more Scooby-Doo with just goofy luck? He's John the Gatekeeper. Let's find out. Okay, let's get into Shale Hill Secrets. You play a college freshman with a promising future, president of the student council, overachieving charismatic future leader of tomorrow type. The future was bright, but through a botched surgery, you lost the ability to speak permanently. You mainly communicate through sign language in a text to voice app on your phone. You also decided to shift from the future politician to working in the IT lab. Hello, IT. Have you tried turning us off and on again? By chance, you stumbled on something that gives you the ability to spy into people's lives. This unravels a mystery that you never expected. Okay, first the visuals. I still think the visuals were very well done. The characters' faces were all cute, and the whole VN pretty much stayed consistent all the way through. There are animations during the spicy scenes. Some of those could look super robotic, and others could look pretty smooth. So it's good to have animations, but some work better than others. There is music and sound effects. The music set the mood perfectly. You're not going to add any of the songs to your playlist, but it did its job. The sound effects were kind of the same, from dogs barking to the bell ringing when class gets out, which added to the atmosphere and immersion. So we get all that out of the way. The real draw of Shale Hill Secrets is the story. Things start slow with mostly backstory. You're introduced to all the girls and you start to unravel the mystery. The plot itself is very well done. There's a noticeable progression where the MC's anxiety and stress scale up. You have to decide how much to share with your friends, all the while you unlock each girl's story path. What I wasn't sure about when I first played Shale Hill Secrets was, am I going to have to choose one main love interest at some point? Mainly because because it didn't seem like it's meant for you to ride away into the sunset with all the girls. So after finishing the game, each love interest has their own little story. They're experiencing some sort of difficulty or life challenge that through your help, they begin to recover from. I'm your white knight. So there is really no consequence to enjoying all the spicy content, at least when I played. I didn't notice any real downside to saying yes to everything. Usually this kind of bothers me. I don't like VNs where the MC just comes in and everyone falls all over. Them. Luckily, there is a lot of character development for each girl. Each relationship progresses in a relatively realistic manner, so this really wasn't an issue for me. You have your best friend and totally not Sister Leah. She's my sister! <laughs> You have the incredibly shy redhead Maggie, the cool and sweet Haley, Sam, who arguably knows you the best. She is a geek who loves cosplay and is kind of a mess. You have Kristen, the sarcastic and crazy comic book shop owner, Valerie, the very hot student council president, Lydia, the Italian barista, and a few others you meet along the way. All the girls were fun to get to know, but I definitely had my favorites. Let me know yours down below. So there are three issues I had with Shale Hill Secrets, and none of them is the MC not being able to speak. I know some people don't like that, but personally, I thought the fact that he couldn't speak added nuance and a dynamic that I found really different. Since he can't speak, it can be a benefit at times because he has a good excuse to stay silent. For example, when he interacts with the police. So the first issue that I had was that there are 17 chapters. I feel like the VN could probably have been closer to 12 or 13 chapters. There were periods of time that just felt like filler. You can argue that a lot of the downtime is character development, but honestly, I think with a lot of the characters, we kind of get the point, which makes the period of time right after a major plot event kind of feel slow. This is obviously up to your personal preference, but there were times I got bored. The other is the weird tonal shifts. You have some very intense tense, scary moments. And then he just kind of goes on with his life. I mean, quite literally everyone breaks into his apartment. If I had people threatening to kill me, I would make sure to lock that down. But it's the little things here and there that just kind of feel too casual in context with all the danger you're in. The MC even mentions he isn't sure he should be acting like everything is fine, but he didn't believe there was much he could do. I just think these moments kind of felt off, which contributed to the VN feeling slow. And lastly, as you get further and further into the VN, you definitely notice certain love interests showing up less. Some of the characters I really wanted more of 
kind of took a backseat to the major players. I mean, yes, this makes sense, but I still kind of wanted more of some of the love interests. Luckily, there are endings for every girl that you can unlock. So I asked the question, is Shale Hill Secrets more Hercule Poirot or more Scooby-Doo? Well, the cast of characters comes off as Scooby-Doo, but the protagonist and the villains are really, really smart. So that's more Poirot. So call it a combination of both. I enjoyed my time with Shale Hill Secrets with smart characters and an engaging story. Now, I know just like my first review that you may not like the slow pace of Shale Hill Secrets, but for a completed mystery, I feel like it does most things well. So this is a play for me. I want to thank all my backers. And if you haven't seen my video on 10 VNs with female MCs, you can check it out right here. Thanks again. Until next time.